This is the Wii Viewer. And the Little Wii Viewer. And we're going to review... Spherezor. For the Wii U eShop. So this is kind of like a action puzzler, question mark? What would you classify this as? An arcade style collect-a-thon, maybe? It's really simplistic. You may be seeing all these weird things all over the screen and going, What am I looking at? It's not as complicated as it may look. Now before we go on, I do have to tell you this game was sent to me from the publisher. So thanks for that. Do you even know why this is called Spheres Or? No. You know, nobody in the world would either if you didn't watch the trailer. Why, hello there, Mr. Spheres Or. Why, yes, I'm talking to you. Ah, splendid. Are we up for an adventure? Seems as though the evil Trizors have taken all the power spheres away, and it's up to you to save the day. But be forewarned, this will not be an easy task. There will be moving blocks, pushable blocks, spinning gadgets, pushable thingies, and most fearsome of them all, chop spinning blades of doom. Wasn't that trailer adorable? Where yeah. you see this, like, smiley face talking to you. But none of that's in the game! I mean, why not place that in the game? Tell us what the story is! Because it, it really is only two modes, casual and arcade. It really isn't much of a story. There is no story! Apparently you're in Pac-Man's world. You have to collect the, the power pellets, but this time they're not power pellets. They're weird, glowy things. Okay, it's not really in Pac-Man's world, but it might as well be. By the way, the, the characters kind of interact with each other. You have power pellets to, that you have to collect in each level. And then there's like, what'd you call that? A yellow ball. That powers you up so you can actually destroy the enemies around you. Just like Pac-Man. It's basically a much simpler version of Pac-Man. Except you're not being chased down. And also you don't have to get every dot. And there's no warping around the screen. And you know what? No, that's not at all, actually. It's not like Pac-Man at all. All right, I guess if you're going to use facts. Now, honestly, there isn't really that much to this game. It controls well. This is one of the games where I actually felt like the controls were actually really tight. I mean, the D-pad, it was a bit stiff. Why would you use the D-pad? I'm using a Wii Remote when we play two-player. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. You could play it with up to five people. One on the Wii U gamepad and then four Wii Motes. Now, like I said, there's only two modes, casual and arcade. Casual means if you die, you can restart the level. Arcade means you don't. You go right back to the beginning. It's that simple. But it's the same levels, and you still progress in the same manner. Here's my main issue with the game. While the levels were enjoyable to a point, I think they were drawn out too much. Because every 10 levels, they change the concept. 10 levels seems like way too much of a bar to have to go through to just get to a new concept. Especially when all ten of those levels are basically just the same concept over and over. Not even used in different ways, just the same concept. With different uh, obstacles in your way, like different blockades. Yeah. It really didn't get interesting until, like, level 20 or 30. Like when there were pushable blocks or spinny things. Before that, it was kind of a trog to get to at these points. More like a patient simulator. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Level selection's a huge problem. Especially for someone like me who got into the high 50s. If I cancel out... Out, I start back at level one. No matter what mode you play. Why can't there be like a level select boxes that, that open up every time you beat a level? The most basic mobile game out there has that sort of thing. Why is it all or nothing? Like you better beat this game in one sitting or else. What they should have done was cut them down to five levels per concept. In between those levels, how about mixing the concepts together? Now maybe later on in the game, way, 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 if you have the patience to do it, you can find those levels intermixed. But I never got to a point where that was there. What'd you think of uh, the arcade mode? Unnecessary. Yeah, I agree. The problem was, arcade mode should have been randomized levels. Yeah, that would be smarter to do. It's not just the same thing over and over again. Now, if you're playing with multiple people, here's another bad thing they did in this game. You can play this in easy, medium, hard, or expert. All it really does is, I think, speeds up the enemies and increases the amount of pellets you need to defeat the level. Which, some of the levels were already tedious enough. So if you have multiple people, if that person gets hit by an enemy, they get stunned for a few seconds. So the other person could try and collect the pellet. The problem is that one person has to be the one to get that high number. If one person gets six and the other person gets four, it's not going to count to ten. You actually have to get to ten. I mean, with five players, getting to ten is already hard enough. And having to deal with the very boring levels at that. Spheres or a little reviewer, would you buy, sale, or skip? Sale. Game is currently ten dollars. Probably sale. Two bucks tops. Oh, I think you're being a little unfair there. I'd give it a little bit more than that. Three bucks? Yeah, probably three. And I may sound harsh, because I did enjoy the game in parts, but the problem was to get to those parts was a quest of tediousness. It was a quest of its own. I like quest of tediousness. That could be the subtitle. Spheres or the quest for tediousness. 
this. Put that on the box. I don't think it's a bad game. It's okay. Yeah, a lot of bad decisions. Like, arcade should have had randomized levels. Like, when you're playing multiplayer, you shouldn't have to collect every single one just to leave. You should be able to have, like, an aggregate of, of everyone. And I say sale. I mean, let's be realistic here. There's really not much to this. If there was a level select, I might be way more generous. And if there was, like, more to the arcade mode, I would put even more value on this. But the way it is right now, I'd say wait till it's on sale. Well, that's our review of Spherezor. Let's check out our last review of The Gem Collector. Or a classic review of Pac-Man. If you like, you can follow me at Twitter, we viewer, where I talk about the latest Nintendo news of the day and upcoming videos on my channel. I thank you guys for watching, and have a great day.